Good evening. Welcome to the City Council meeting of Wednesday, September 20th, 2017. Can I have the roll call, please? Dan Carey. Present. Peg Conniff. Here. Salem Derby. Present. Jennifer Hayes. Here. J.P. Kuzinski. Here. Joseph McCoy. Here. Daniel Rist. Here. Tamara Smith. Here. Joy Winnie. Here. Okay, could we please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge, Pledge of Allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America. America and to, to the, the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Mm. I please have a motion for the approval of the minutes of September 6th. Second. second. Motion and a, and a second for the September 6th minutes approval. And questions are all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any abstentions? Somebody wasn't okay. here. Were you all here? Okay. We were Jen all here. Wasn't here. Jen wasn't here. Okay, one abstention, okay. Um, and wait, public speak time, I'd like to address the council for anything other than that. I'm not seeing anyone. No communications. Uh, anyone? Actually, I was to talk about anyone. Any announcements from any precinct or at-large counselors? Councilor Smith. I just want to congratulate the WE group at the middle school and mm -hmm. their faculty supervisor, Judith Breyer. 19 students went to the WE conference in New York City today. You can only be accepted to that um, conference if you log in enough community service hours. So it's proportionate for how many students versus the student population and how often they're out in the community. So just knowing that they earned this trip because of the amount of work they did rather than the amount of money they, mm -hmm. they earned or something, mm -hmm. I really just wanted to bring that to council and congratulate them. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Yeah, that's okay. great. Anything else? And they, they saw Justin Thoreau, which was exciting, mm -hmm. but my daughter was more excited about Grace Vanderbilt, who was <laughs> like the, the, the winner on America's Got Talent. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway. Okay, thanks. Uh, any more? Cool. No, no, no? Okay, uh, Mayor Communications, Mayor Kadjic. Good evening. So I have one communication. It's more of an edit. Um, when I handed out the uh, capital plan, I noticed that there was one thing missing. It was already one of the approved capital projects um, for the the uh, highway dump truck, and uh, inadvertently it just wasn't on the list. So I just wanted to get it on the list. So I have a new one for each of you. Okay. And also, just a point of interest, uh, this morning we were at the um, Massachusetts, Massachusetts School Building Authority. A meeting in Boston uh, which went very well and it was a presentation uh, for the to the facilities assessment subcommittee and um, what they'll be doing is they'll be approving our preferred solution and the meeting was uh, I, I thought it was very positive uh, they had some very good suggestions to our architect and our project manager and um, just just an update of what's happening and uh, those questions and suggestions will come back to our School Building Committee at our next meeting. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, standing committees, Finance Council lists. Thank you, Mr. President. Finance Committee will be meeting at 5 p.m. in Room 1 on the 27th of this month. That's next Wednesday. We will be discussing the new business, which I'm about to read with the President's approval, of course. First is an interdepartmental transfer. This is a first reading. Request is hereby made for the approval of the following appropriation. The amount requested is $25,000 to be transferred from the reserve fund, $25,000, to be transferred to Treasurer Professional Services, $25,000. The amount requested will be used for the following purpose, to provide funds to cover the cost of a new payroll and human resources software and service. I move that this be sent to the Finance Committee for review. Second. Okay, a motion is second to send the interdepartmental transfer of $25,000 to finance for review. Additional questions or comments? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion passed. I also move that a public hearing be set in these chambers at 615 on October 4th for the $25,000 interdepartmental transfer. Second. Okay, a motion is second to set a public uh, meeting, uh, hearing for the same $25,000 departmental transfer, 10 4, 6, 15 p.m. these chambers. So questions or comments? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion passes. The next is a supplemental appropriation request. Request is hereby made for the approval of the following appropriation. The amount requested is $37.00. 
$37,050. To be appropriated from stabilization, $37,050. To be appropriated to fire full-time supervisory, $37,050. To provide funds to cover the costs of filling the vacant deputy chief's position, I move that this be sent to Finance Committee for review. Second. Okay, motion is second to move to finance a supplemental appropriation of the $37,050. Additional questions or comments? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion passes. I also move that this be set for a public hearing at 615 in these chambers on October 4th. Second. Motion is second to set a public hearing for the same topic, uh, October 4th, 615 p.m. in these chambers. Additional questions or comments? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion passes. That concludes, Mr. President. Okay, thank you. Public Safety, Councilor Hayes. Thank you, Mr. President. We have rescheduled our prior public safety meeting to tomorrow night at 6, 6 p.m. PM. Okay. I think we should set both of these for public hearings, 10 4. And I guess I will set a couple of public hearings for the um, school in Roadhouse Street, considering making them one way streets and a request to review the wording of the traffic rules and orders. Okay. So Public there. hearing for both of, both of them, right? Both. Of them. October 4th. October, October 4th. 4th. Is there a second? Second. second. Okay, a motion to second to set public hearings for the school and railroad streets as well as the traffic rules and orders for October 4th, 6 15 p.m. these chambers. Additional questions or comments? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion passes. This concludes. Thank you. Appointments, Councilor Smith. I think you. We had an appointment subcommittee meeting earlier tonight where we discussed two mayoral appointments. One is for Mo Bellavo, and the other is for Marjorie Zeik, both for the ECA Plus Board with a term expiration of December 31st, 2019. So we were discussing um, at this meeting in the discussion about the links between the Chamber of Commerce and businesses and the arts community and the long-term strategic planning of combining these two more transparently within the city as a way to create a service net for artists. So maybe a service net is not the right word, but combining um, business, you know, business orientation and art orientation and continuing the conversations that have already started within the community. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, sorry, Jen, yes. So the Chamber of Commerce is a membership organization, and they only support the businesses that are part of that chamber. Mm -hmm. What would happen to businesses that aren't part of that organization? It feels like that would give, like, preferential treatment. Oh, yeah. Those who are working independently would not be. Mo is, um, I, should, I should retract what I said and say it more clearly. She's she applied for this position on behalf of herself and brought her experience in the chamber as leading up to her um, rationale for wanting to be on the board. I misspoke if it sounded like the board of the Chamber of Commerce is ready to form a formal relationship with the artist community and start doing it that way. I, I can understand that came out that way, but that's not what I was implying. So, because that, like that would be like kind of a rather large conflict. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, most of the artists are not part of the Chamber of Commerce. Right. And so, yeah, we, we discuss that and we're aware of that as the subcommittee. Thank you. So. Make a motion? Yeah, um, I'd like to make a motion. The uh, appointment subcommittee uh, approved these two appointments um, three to zero. So I'd like a motion to move Mel Bellavio and Marjorie Zeik for the ECA plus board committee with a term expiration of December 31st, 2019. Second. So, okay, we have a motion and a second to accept both okay. appointments of Mo Bellevue and Marjorie Zaik to the ECA plus with terms expiring 12 31, 2019. Any additional questions or comments? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion passes. And under new business, I would just like to forward the following name for the appointment subcommittee. Um, we received an, a mayoral appointment for Brendan Rogers for the Council on Aging Director, and that would be a term expiration of 12-31-2020. Second. Okay, motion second to move to appointments, the appointment of Brendan Rogers as COA Director. Additional questions or comments? 
All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, abstain, motion passes. Mm, that's, we will, we had talked about the possibility of another meeting day, but um, we decided to go with the following. So we're going to be asking Brendan Rogers to come to the subcommittee meeting on October 4th at 5.30. Right now that's our plan unless he wasn't able to make that meeting. That concludes? That concludes. Well, okay, thank you. Uh, ordinance Council Derby. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the Ordinance Subcommittee did meet uh, last week on Wednesday. Uh, we did discuss all of the items on our agenda. And I promise we are getting close on the plastic bags. Uh, in fact, we have language and have uh, revised that language, so we're going to uh, look over it one more time and start um, getting it out to the people who would be affected by it for their feedback. Um, so that is forthcoming. Uh, again, just a reminder, the planning board is working on some zoning around uh, recreational marijuana. So we are going to um, see what they come up with and then work with that. And then uh, we also discussed uh, the Human Rights Ordinance Committee. Um, and we are doing research right now, uh, what other communities our size are doing with that, what role they play and how it plays out. Uh, we are planning on meeting a week from tonight on the 27th at 6 p.m. So if anybody's interested, they can. The 27th? 27th at 6 p.m. That concludes. Okay, thank you very much. Property, Councilor Kwasinski. No report. Okay, U.S. and Government Relations. No report, Mr. President. There is no old business or pending business. We've done all our new business, so I'll entertain a motion. To we, adjourn. we adjourn. Second. Second. Oh, I'm sorry. We, we did have somebody walk in because they want to open up public comment. He's there. I, I got him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so we have a motion to second turn. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion passes. And you're the only one that has to sign something. We don't have to sign anything. Yeah. Oh, okay. just Joe. Just the appointment and my pay. Just Joe. And your pay. Yeah, that's a <laughs>